Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be integrating PySpark with Jupyter Notebook. So right now we will not be able to develop PySpark using Jupyter Notebook. We first have to install a library called FindSpark. So that library will allow Jupyter Notebook to detect the PySpark installation on our machine and then be able to use that execution engine and then that will allow us to create PySpark jobs inside of Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is install that library. So let's open up our CMD. So we right click and then run as the administrator. Okay, and now we are going to use the pip installer to install the library. So it's pip install find spark enter. So as you can see, I already have the library installed, all right? So that's all we need to do. We can close the CMD once that library has been installed. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to test and see if we can uh, write PySpark code inside of Jupyter Notebook. So let us uh, open up Jupyter Notebook from our start menu. Okay, and then um, we can run as administrator. Okay, and then select new Python 3. Okay, so now the first thing that we need to do is we need to test and see if we can use or import FindSpark and then initialize it. Once that works, then we will know that we can start writing our PySpark code. So it's import find Spark. And then underneath, we say find spark dot init. Then shift enter. Okay, so find spark was loaded successfully and we managed to initialize it. So now, in theory, we should be able to develop PySpark code inside of Jupyter Notebook. So let us test that by importing PySpark. So we say import PySpark. And then from PySpark.sql, import Spark session. So every Spark job that we will develop or data pipeline will have a Spark session, right? So we import that and then shift and enter. Okay, so we have manage to load PySpark. We can import the PySpark library. So that means that PySpark is being picked up by Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so now let's further test that and say Spark equals Spark session dot builder dot get or create. So a Spark session is basically a Spark job, right? So it has an ID and you can track it using the Spark UI, okay? And then we create a data frame equals spark.sql. Then we say select in single quotation marks Spark as hello. And this will create a data frame for us. And then we say df.show to preview the data frame. Shift enter. Okay, so as you can see, we have managed to create a data frame with a field and a value. So now we can verify that Spark or PySpark specifically is working inside of Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so we have managed to integrate PySpark 
with Jupyter Notebook. And now we can start developing our data pipeline. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.